Hey, how you doing everyone? This is Lee Gerstmann and I have a record review for you. I have to give a special thanks to Ian Wadley. I had talked with him and I asked him what album he would want me to review and he had mentioned the Stray Cats Built for Speed. It was a while since he had asked and I hadn't gone around to until now partly because I had heard the Stray Cats back on MTV and I'd heard some of their live stuff when they were filmed on MTV doing some dance parties and I kind of thought that their album would probably sound like Rock This Town only 12 times so I just sort of assumed that I realized I was very wrong and I am quite glad that I heard the album so there you go I'm kind of corrected from my own misinterpretation anyway I have to say that in high school there were some friends of mine who did this fake group called the Stray Dogs because they were making fun of the stray cats and one of the guys who did that group he later on had a party and I didn't know that he was hosting the party <laughs> my friend had said you know come on over to this party we weren't invited you know but we brought booze and the host guy who later ended up being the guy who I knew from high school he had stayed in his room all night and he didn't want to come out because he didn't like the people who were there and then when most of them left and he finally came out he saw us and said they can stay so we weren't the invited guests but we were the ones who he said were cool enough to stay at the party so that's something and that's kind of stray dogs stray cats related anyway Let's just get to the songs. The first song, Rock This Town, even though this song is as rockabilly as all get out, I hear just a little bit of the 80s punk energy to it, not in the song itself, but in the attitude. I actually prefer Bill Haley, but this is a fun tune. I think I'd like it better the more beers I had. And then Built for Speed. Now this sounds authentic. This could have come out of Sun Studios back in 1956. Of course it's recorded much better than stuff back then, but the vibe is the same. And then Rev It Up and Go. Now this sounds like the fabulous Thunderbirds, and that's a compliment. Great dive bar blues vibe. And then Stray Cat Strut. This is pretty good. I like it much better without the accompaniment of the video. I could hear David Lee Roth do this and Louis Prima. And then Little Miss Prissy. It's not quite as transcendent as the old Rolling Stones, but it's so damn close it doesn't even matter. These guys are rocking. And then Rumble and Brighton. Rockabilly Henry Mancini style with Devo vocals. Very interesting. I get a kick out of it. And then Runaway Boys. This sounds like it was recorded in an old studio in England in 1965. This is great. It has a little bit of the Kinks influence to it. And then Lonely Summer Nights. If Brian Wilson did a solo album back in the early 70s, this would have sounded like it including the odd vocals. And then, Double Talkin' Baby. This is like the first Savoy Brown album on Hyperspeed. I dig it. And then, You Don't Believe Me. Now, this does sound like old, authentic Rolling Stones from the early period. Not the vocals, but that's fine. This is really great. And then Genie, Genie, Genie. This sounds even more authentic stones. And Brian Setzer manages to capture the spirit of Keith Richards in the vocals. 
This is my favorite song on the album. And then Baby Blue Eyes. Ooh, this sounds exactly like the animals. This is hot. This would be my second favorite song on the album. Okay, so overall I'd say that this album reminded me of when I was two years old and I was listening to the Stones and the Animals and really digging that kind of stuff. And this group captured that vibe very well. So I want to thank you, Ian Wadley, for suggesting this album. I'm going to have to listen a little bit more to some of those types of albums that I thought that I already knew when I didn't. Anyway, this has been my review. Hope you like it. Cheers.